This is Twit. The Juji S50 is a rugged smartphone. It's It has IP68 rating, but it's also built to last. It's also shockproof. Uh, so it's... Uh, a new de- a, a new device from Doji which has an 18 to 9 aspect ratio it's a 5.7 inch uh, diagonal screen uh, and it has it's just hd plus in resolution that's 1440 by 720 it's powered by a mediatek chipset and it has a generous 6 gigabytes of ram and 120 gigabytes of storage uh, plus it's expandable with micro sd to an extra an extra 128 gigabytes of storage. And as you can see from the pictures, if you're listening, it's <laughs> essentially a brick <laughs> with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and a pretty space age uh, industrial design. It's made to last. Yeah, I mean, this thing has like a chunky quality to it. You know what I mean? Like all the stylings it's are very like moto edgy. Droid. Edge. Yes. What are the old droids? School, old school. It totally, right. totally reminds me of that old, the old. Uh, what was that? Oh, which that, phone I was that? I forgot what it was called. That was the Max. Before, the Droid Max with two X's? It was before that, though. That it had a certain yeah, name before. It was a Verizon it was. exclusive. Yes. Oh, man. Yes, I doubt the ones who, was it a no, Razor? It, yes. It was, was it the Razor? I think it was one of the first generation droids where they had the scary adverts in the US yeah. where they were being dropped out of place, planes and, <laughs> and obliterating small cities. That's what everybody it, needs. It was one, of, one of the ones they didn't didn't get didn't make arrive in Europe uh, because it was a Verizon exclusive. Yes. And this Duji reminds me of that design, but it also feels a bit Oh heavier. my gosh. It, it feels as if the, the craters would be a bit deeper. Um, and in the video, we show the, the drop test. I believe it's at the top of the article there, Victor. Uh, we, we, do, we, do actually, we did actually do some, some drop tests at Stansted Airport whilst mm. we were uh, waiting for a delayed flight. Uh, so this Doogee has really won my heart over because it is chunky, it is heavy, it's thick. It doesn't try and pretend that it's a slim device, uh, but it just works. It's got loads of RAM. The processor, the chipset, is capable enough to play Goat Simulator for long periods of time without overheating. Uh, it's just a, a good device to use, and it's turned into my main Pokemon Go phone just because of that battery endurance and and performance. Uh, I have uh, three UK SIM cards in it. And uh, it's also very good for streaming audiobooks, podcasts. I would say the, the only downside is there's no NFC, so it can't be used for uh, mobile payments or public transport in certain cities. And as you just saw there in the yeah. video, it's not slippery, unlike other devices. That <laughs> is seen this on the market. you? <laughs> as it slips out of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> So, the, wh- whereas the Honor 10 is a very shiny device, uh, which uh, is very, very slippery, this one, it, it almost sticks to your hand because of that rubberized, uh, textured finish at the end. And so we had great fun testing this at the airport. And because the floor at Stansted Airport is filthy, uh, we decided to wash it under the tap straight away. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Love this real and then, life scenarios. Yes, <laughs> and then just for good measure, we blow dried it. Nice. But the 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 good news is it works perfectly well. Uh, I used it on the flight and have been using it since then. There's been no issues, so the durability is not in question. Uh, the other thing is uh, it does have a courage port or a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, which is very good news. Uh, we, sorry, Ron, we're not living in the Bluetooth utopia yet. Hey, uh, man, th- catch up. <laughs> <laughs> well, do, do you disagree? Uh, and it does have the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, but because the casing is so deep and it's so recessed, the, the 3.5 millimeter audio jack is so recessed, only really slimline 3.5 millimeter audio jack accessories will actually fit in. So not all my earphones or headphones would fit into this device. Oh, interesting. And the same with the micro USB charger at the bottom. Because it's so recessed, not all micro USB connectors will be able to plug in. 
So look for slimline ones if you have them, or you might need to order some more if you do buy this device. But as, as you saw in the video, we've put this through its paces, we've dropped it, we've used it heavily, and I was pleasantly surprised. The operating system that's running, running on it is Duji OS 2, which is based on Android 7.1.1. So it's not the latest version of Android, but it's perfectly functional. And it's very, very close to AOSP. There are very few customizations on top. Uh, so no big surprises. You don't have uh, some, some uh, of the latest Oreo features, but it does have face unlock. So if you're using this device with gloves, you don't really need to. You don't need to to take your gloves off to use it, which is maybe part of the target audience. Mm -hmm. So people working on building sites or doing extreme sports where they do need gloves on. Yeah, kind of in in some ways on its feature set like what it offers in features and also kind of the design style reminds me of some of the cat phones that we've seen. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like highly ruggedized, meant more for out in the field sort of uh, devices. It does. It's like, and that, I'm, it's like, that, uh, it's like, it's like that Casio phone I wanted you to get, Jason, back in the day. Which Casio? Remember that? No. Remember there was one of those rugged Casio, like when you were when you when we were doing what phone is Jason gonna get? <laughs> Verizon had Verizon had one of those like ultra rugged. I think it was Casio. I forget I forget who the manufacturer was, and I was trying to get you to pressure you to get that one. Professional <laughs> business phone. Yeah. Oh, now I'm gonna have to look for that. So yeah, so, 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 so yeah. Well, well done to Duji for 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 going a bit out there with this rugged Shh. smartphone. Sure. And also it's it's good news that there are still some some Android OEMs and ODMs that are doing something slightly different. Not just shiny slabs of glass that are very fragile and trying to be as thin as possible. Right on. So and what is the price kind of range on uh, on the Duji S15? So um, uh, on AliExpress, you can order one for less than two hundred pounds sterling, or two hundred and forty US dollars at the moment. Okay. Um, if if you go to Amazon UK, you can order one for around about two hundred and forty, two hundred and fifty pounds sterling. Obviously, this is a reseller who's making a, a margin on it, but then you don't need to wait a, a week or two for delivery. It's available on Amazon Prime, whereas. Um, I'm not sure about if it will work in the US on all 4G bands. Right. It does have band 20, which is what we use in Europe, which is a, a good thing. Uh, but beware if you are considering buying one for the US, check that your network carrier supports the 4G bands that the Duji S50 has. Um, so I, I really enjoyed this. The big battery, that 5,180 milliamp hour battery, really does last a long time. The downside to it is that it is slow at charging. Uh, so it does need a good six to eight hours to charge fully. But in, in everyday use, it's a great device, though the, the heaviness and the size of it may be a, it put some people off. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine so. Uh, it definitely looks like it has a certain, you know, it will appeal to certain people just from the design stylings, the size of it and everything. But... Hey, that's uh, the beauty of Android.